Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our favorites viewer application. So before we get started I just want to give full credit to the authors of Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008. Um, the authors are Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Now they've made, it, made this great app. Um, I, I've only found one error in it so far um, but I'm going to be using it to teach you guys um, some Visual Basic concepts. So if you don't know where we are right now, then you may want to move back to one of the earlier tutorials. So if you remember from the previous tutorial, we added this if statement. So if the file ends with .url, then we want to try and get that um, and use it as a favorite. So we can use a try, uh, try catch statement, and we'll just enclose it in this in case um, any errors happen. So since the web favorites class right here implements iDisposable we can use the using keyword so using object web favorite which is the name that we just created uh, for the web favorite object as new web favorite so we're creating an object of the class web favorite which just um, gets the favorite the favorite um, URL and the name so that we can use it later on. And that's the purpose of this class, to get the name and the URL of a certain file. So with this object, what we want to do is we want to load the file information. So we'll type object web favorite dot load and we're going to use string file. So string file is the, let's see here, the file that is in the directory that we're currently in, which is the um, favorites directory. And it's the file that ends with .url. So object web favorite dot load. So you can see here we've got web favorite dot load. And what this does is it gets the text um, from that file and it stores and it extracts the URL and the name. So it's going to load that file. And then we're just going to add that to the collection of favorites. So favorites collection dot add. And then we, we will add object web favorite. So you can see here favorites collection is initialized to a new web favorite collection up here. And the add method will go up and look at that. It's just going to add uh, the web favorite object to our list. And we're passing object web favorite to it. And so here is our end using. And if we catch an exception, let's just go ahead and let them know. So we'll type messagebox.show ex.message. OK, so for the time being, we're done with creating and editing our classes. So let's go ahead and let's find viewer.vb. So we'll double click on the form itself to open up the load event for it. So whenever our favorites viewer loads, what do we want to do? Well, we want to get all of our favorites and load them into the list. So we'll just close this in a try catch statement in case anything goes wrong. So we're going to be using object favorites as new favorites. Now the reason we're using using is because once we've added all this stuff to the list, there's no reason for us to keep this object. And the object favorites or the favorites class implements iDisposable, so we can use the using keyword. So while we're using object favorites, what we want to do is scan favorites. So object favorites dot scan favorites. So we're using the version of this method that doesn't take any arguments. So whenever we call scan favorites it's going to scan favorites and it's going to it's just going to scan our default favorites folder so we'll go ahead and come back in here and after we've scanned the favorites um, and what this will do is it'll add the favorite to our collection so for each um, it's going to add uh, each of the favorites to our collection whenever we scan the favorites so now what we need to do is we need to go through each of the web favorite objects um, in the favorites collection. So we can do this by using a for each loop. 
So for each object web favorite as web favorite in object favorites dot favorites collection. Now this might be a little confusing, so I'll go ahead and explain it. So we're creating an object of type web's fa web favorites, and it's going to be inside of object favorites dot favorites collection. So here's object favorites, and you can see here um, that we have favorites collection, which is of type web favorite collection. So favorites has a collection that we can use um, to store each one of the favorites. So we're going to go through each of those favorites inside of this collection. And what do we want to do with those favorites? Well, we want to add them to our list. So before we can do that, we need to declare object list view item as new list view item. Now you can see that it says represent an item in a system.windows.forms.list view control. So it's just going to be an item that goes um, under one of these columns. So now that we've created an object of the item, let's go ahead and we need to set the properties of it. So we'll type object list view item dot text is going to be equal to object web favorite dot name. So we have object web favorite right here, um, and it's it'll go through each of these object web favorites in our collection. So it's going to get the name of that. So the name is going to be the name of the file, um, which is let's see, right here name, and it just uses this substring to get the name of the file and leave out the stuff that we don't need. So now what we need to do is we need to set um, some other values. So object list view item dot sub items dot add, and we'll add object list view item. Or not that. I'm sorry about that. We want to add object web favorite dot URL. Now because this URL column right here is a sub item of our list view, we're going to use object list view items dot sub items dot add and we're going to add the URL. So after we've created this list view item, we're just going to have to add it to the list. So we'll type list or list favorites dot items dot add and we want to add this list view item so we'll just type object list view item and we'll close that off right there and now if there's an exception we just want to show that 